Hey, how's it going, everybody? This is Mega Shadow Fist, and welcome to my next series, Ace Attorney Justice for All. I bet you guys weren't expecting that now, were you? Anyway, before I begin, I just want to get a couple things across, I suppose. First off, yes, I am using an emulator, but I do own a legal copy of the game. I'm just using an emulator because it's easier to record. And um, this is the second game, by the way, so... If you really, really care about spoilers or anything of that sort, I did watch, I'll link you to this series right here. Um, it's a series by Super Genius. He did, it's a series of the first game. That's the, that's the one that I personally watched. That's what got me into the series. If you want to watch it, go ahead. Or you can just go ahead and, you know, go to the wiki and read the story. Or then, like, yeah, like, look up the story if you really, really, really care about, you know, spoilers. Because I'm, I'm going to be not super spoiler heavy, but I'm going to try to be you know, not, but I'm not, I'm not going to be afraid of saying spoilers because this is the second game, so, you know, if you really care about spoilers that much, you know, you shouldn't be watching this, but whatever the case may be, before, we, let's go ahead and go ahead and hit new game, please, uh, it looks like the lost turnabout, episode one, this is completely blind, by the way, my only experience with the game is, uh, with the series is pretty much the first game, or the let's play of it that I watched, this is my first time playing one, but anyway, confirm. Wow, that is really loud. <sighs> Grr! How do I get into this mess? Or how did I get into this mess? That's far enough! You can't run forever! Mr. Phoenix, right? What? What have I done wrong? I cannot allow you to go on like this. But, but I'm just a simple defense attorney. Silence! You are no longer worthy of your title. What the heck? I what is going on? Okay, September eighth, nine oh eight a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number One. Wow! So we already have an eventful thing so far. I'm not quite sure if this is like a dream or whatever. Let's go ahead and continue. Oh, it was just a video game, okay. I was like, what the heck? What a nightmare. And I bet it was this ringtone that caused it. I really shouldn't be dozing off right before a trial starts anyway. By the way, could anybody let me know what the name of, uh, that song is? Like, I'm pretty sure it was a Beethoven song, wasn't it? I think. I could be making stuff up, but whatever, anyway. Huh? Looks like they hung up. Uh... Ah, good! I finally found it! That's not the voice I'm gonna use for him, I should use something else. Talk about a close call. I hate to do this to you, but... It's nothing personal, Mr. Attorney. A few minutes later, District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 1. Okie dokie then. It looks like we have pretty much like the same exact layout as the first game, it seems. Uh, so let's go ahead and continue. Ouch! My head, it's throbbing. And why does it feel so foggy in there? Uh, good morning! Ugh! Uh, g good morning? What's wrong? You don't look well! People are at their best first thing in the morning! What's this? What's. Or, where's that fighting spirit? Sorry, but can you please turn the cheeriness down? My head sort of hurts. Roger that! Um, am I in trouble or something? Huh? Trouble? W wait, never mind. You're a policewoman, right? I thought maybe I had done something wrong. Well, what are you talking about? I'm the one in trouble! What? No, I'm having the same exact reaction. Okay, what's going on right now? I'm- Oh, her name's Bird. I'm placing my life in your hands today, Mr. Phoenix, right? Life in my hands? You promised me! You said you would prove that I was not guilty! N not guilty Just when I thought all hope was lost, when all the other lawyers had laughed me off! 
Leave it to me that you said you, the one and only Phoenix Wright, came to save the day. I'm t I take it right now that he probably lost his memory. Is that what's is that what's going on right now? And just like that, I was moved to tears, sir. I'll never forget what you're doing for me, ever. What is this girl babbling about? Actually, I really love to watch court proceedings, and I always root for you to win. When I'm off duty, I like to come here and... What's wrong? You've been acting really strange and you keep staring at me. You're making me kind of nervous, sir. Oh, sorry. Hmm, I'm afraid to ask, but here goes. So, this might sound bad, but, uh... Who are you? What?! Mr. Wright, how could you say that?! How can you do this to this fragile heart of a girl about to go on trial? You're absolutely horrible! No, I mean, I didn't mean it like that. Is this how a defense attorney treats his client, sir? I can't believe this! No, it's just, well, I think you have the wrong person. I'm... Yes! I'm... I'm... Who am I? Why am I drawing a blank? The trial will begin short. Or, or that's the bailiff. The trial will begin shortly. Will the defendant and her lawyer please proceed to the courtroom immediately? Oh, this is not good at all, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how this continues. The trial's about to start. I'm counting on you in there, okay? Don't worry, I've seen the first game. I should handle it. I should be able to handle this, no problem. Hmm, I guess I must have amnesia. Let's see. What can I piece together? Hmm, from our conversation, I can safely say that I'm probably a defense attorney. Only the greatest defense attorney alive is at that, and that girl. I said I'd prove her not guilty. I can't believe I made such an irresponsible promise. Okie dokie then. Ugh! Someone! Please! Tell me this is just a bad dream. Why do I get the feeling this is one dream I won't be waking up from? <laughs> that would be really awesome if this actually was a dream, though, if I were to be honest here. <clears throat> September 8th, 10 o'clock a.m., District Court, courtroom number two. Oh, it's this guy again. Interesting. Okay. Court is now in session for the trial of Maggie Bird. Maggie Bird, I, I'm not quite sure. Usually their names are puns, by the way, people. Or, ladies and gentlemen, I should say, I shouldn't just say people. Uh, their, their names are usually puns on stuff, you know, like a lot of hard things of that sort, so I'm not quite sure what this is supposed to be about, but let's continue. Oh my god, pain. Uh, how, how did he say he was like, OBJECTION! That's what he sounded like, right? So, the prosecution is ready, your honor! What is it, Mr. Wright? Um, er... Are you talking to me? Do you say any- do you see any other defense attorneys here? I guess not. <laughs> now then, are you ready? Hell yes, I'm ready! I was born ready! I've been wanting to do this series for quite some time! I guess I should say yes for now. Are you ready, Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. Wait a sec. If her life is in my hands, I should really do the responsible thing. Actually, you see, Your Honor, my memory is kind of... The court will not hear the defense's excuses. Because the defendant is a member of the police, this case is under great scrutiny. Therefore, we must make this trial fair but swift. As in, extremely swift, because, you know, it's the whole three-day trial thing. If you don't get a not guilty thing and within three days, I'm pretty sure that you're automatically put as guilty. I'm pretty sure that's how the court system works in this game, because it's a parody of the Japanese. I'm talking too much. I, I believe I have told you this before. I hope you're not telling me you've forgotten. Actually, I did. Mr. Payne, your opening statement, please. Yes, Your Honor. As I'm sure you're well aware, the defendant is accused of killing her lover. What's worse, her lover was a fellow police officer. A policeman? You did what to a policeman? It wasn't- or what was her voice? It wasn't me! And besides, Dustin and I, we weren't lovers like that. And in- or in any case, that was my Carol voice. The prosecution will prove that the guilty party is none other than the defendant. Very well. Mr. Payne, please call your first witness. Hee hee hee. 
It's been a while, Mr. Wright! Let's see what you've learned since last time! Because, for those of you who played the first game, you should know that Payne was the very first person that you played against when Phoenix is just a rookie. Just to re for a refresher in case you guys have forgotten. I won't sh show you any mercy this time, rookie! Okay, and who are you again? Please bring Detective- Oh my god, Gumshoe! Take Gumshoe to the stand! Here we go! Don't let me down, Mr. Wright! Nowhere- nowhere to hide. I'm so dead. Ah, Dick Gumshoe, my favorite character from the first game. Witness, please state your name and occupation! My name is Dick Gumshoe, sir. I'm the detective in charge of homicides down at the precinct, sir. You don't very- you don't look very well, detective. That's not my old man voice. Or why sage voice? Well, sir, the defendant, she works under me, so, you know... You work under the det that detective? Yes, sir, and while I was a trainee, he was always watching out for me. Sir, he's such a wonderful guy, sir, I'll never forget what he's done for me. Okay, calm down, I believe you. Detective Gumshoe, please describe for us the details of this murder! Yes, sir, yes, sir. It happened at the park near Headquarters Exposé Park. Okay, I need to pay attention to this stuff. The victim was one of the local cops, Dustin Prince. He was pushed down from the benches on the upper path, sir. The landing beat his body up bad and snapped his neck. Can I check the court record right now? Um, let's see what we have here. That's our attorney's badge. Cell phone. I found this in my pocket, but I don't remember what it means or how it got there. Um... Justin's autopsy report. Time of death, September 6th at 6.28 p.m. Cause, broken neck. Body was also covered in bruises. So that means that there was probably an altercation before then, or probably from falling down the stairs, I imagine. Um, let's see. Glasses. Found under the victim's body. Pieces of nearsighted lenses were found nearby. Okay. Is that it? That looks like that's it. Okay, let's go back to back. And, okay. Let's look at what we have to say again. The, la er, the landing beat his body up bad and snapped his neck. The details are listed in the report that was distributed yesterday. Distribute, I should say. Ah, uh, yes, this, this autopsy report, correct? Why do I not remember getting a copy? I see, everything is, under, is in order here. Even the estimated time of death is unusually well documented. Is it just me or does the music sound kind of funny right now? Is this how it's supposed to be? I hope this isn't like an emulator thing or something. The victim's watch stopped from the impact of the landing, sir. The results of the autopsy confirmed the time of death. If I may, your honor, the prosecution would like to submit this photograph. Very well, this court accepts it into evidence. Crime photo one added to the court record. Photograph submitted as evidence by prosecutor Payne. Yeah, the music is slowing down, isn't it? Now then, I, I recall at yesterday's preliminary hearing, a very important piece of evidence was brought to our attention. Yes, your honor! Yes, sir. Yes, I guess. Well, the thing is, is like, all the motions are going properly, but and everyone's talking quickly enough, but the music seems odd. Is it supposed to be that way? I'm sorry if it's really annoying. We're, I'm gonna have to find a... If that's really a problem, I'll, I'll have to find a fix for it in the, before the next recording session. But anyway, let's go ahead and continue. Yes, I guess. Mr. Wright, is your head on right today? There was a very clear, crucial piece of evidence found under the victim's body. Um, was there? Have you lost your mind? Well, actually, um, it's just nerves. Give me a second. What? You talk like such an amateur! I thought you were a pro, sir! Well, we beat Mr. Von Karma, so I guess we kind of are not really an amateur, but it's a pity that he doesn't remember. Very convenient for the first case game. Very convenient. Alright, sir! I'll help you through this! At a time like this, maybe you ought to take a glance at the court record, which I already looked at. Court record? Yep! Info about evidence and people involved with this case are all listed there, sir! You can look at the court record by touching the court record button. The court record button, or the court record button. You really know what you're talking about, huh? 
It's too bad I'm a cop, right? Just think, I could totally be legal aid instead! Mr. Wright! Yes, Your Honor. Court is in session, save your chit-chat for later! Shh, sorry, Your Honor. Well, I guess I better check the court record and see what I can find. What was it again? The court record button? Oh! Er, all right, Mr. White, let's see if your notes are in order. What was the piece of evidence found underneath the victim's body? Let's check the court record? It was actually, I don't even need to check the court record, it was the glasses. That's simple, Your Honor. A broken pair of glasses. That's right. The, er, gumshoe, what was my gumshoe was? The victim grabbed the criminal's glasses as was being shoved, sir. And held onto them as he fell. Hey, why are you giving me the evil eye? Those glasses you're wearing. <laughs> yes, this is my spare pair. But these glasses they found at the, at the scene of the crime are not mine, I swear, sir. I mean, they specifically said that they were nearsighted, so if she's, if we can find, somehow find an alibi stating that she's farsighted, then I guess that will be enough, right? I would say so anyway. You sure about that? Look, it was a coincidence that on the same day I accidentally stepped on mine. A coincidence, she says. Ugh. <laughs> Your Honor! I have further evidence to present! Uh, oh, you have more? And this evidence is very decisive! Very well. Let's hear from our witness about this evidence. Okay, now it's, now it's time for the cross-examination. Decisive evidence. There's something even more incriminating than the glasses under the victim's body, sir. During his date, the victim was pushed from the bench area. But he managed to write the culprit's name on the ground where he lit. Oh, really? Is that decisive evidence in this? Well, I guess it was against Maya in the previous game, so... Maggie. I don't like saying it, but I was clearly it was clear the defendant's name. Maggie, sir. With this piece of evidence and the glasses, it's hard to say she's not the culprit. Uh, this is a picture of the writing, your honor! Why, this is... Yes, I can see the name is clearly written here. The prosecution would like to submit this picture! Understood. The court accepts it into evidence. Crime photo 2 added to the court record. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait. Okay, hold on. One second. As if the glasses alone didn't make you look suspicious. The victim even wrote your name clear as day on the ground?! But, but, I already told you, those glasses aren't mine! And how do you explain this, his dying message? It's a conspiracy! I'm not guilty, sir! The thing is, though, right, if his neck broke... Wait, hold on, it depends if he was killed on impact or not. I would like to say if he broke his neck, he was probably killed on impact, in which case he wouldn't be able to write his name, right? Right? Maybe I'm just making stuff up. Whatever the case would be, Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine your witness. Cross-examine? This is it! I'm counting on you! I feel like I've changed Bird's voice like 3,000 times throughout this episode. Sure, but what am I supposed to do? What?! This isn't like you at all! Normally, this is the part where you get in the witnesses' faces! Get in their faces and do what? I guess there's no way around it! Okay, I'm going to lend you a hand! The prosecution's, prosecution's witness all hide things from the court, which means they lie from time to time. Lie? But, but isn't that detective your superior? Well, even if they don't mean to lie, sometimes people just remember things wrong. Hmm, like that detective, he does sort of look like a scatterbrain. It doesn't matter, either way it's bad for us, sir! That's why when you question witnesses, you have to find and expose their lies! Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, please! Which we will start in the next episode! Awkward pause! See you guys in the next episode, first one of the series! <laughs> yeah, anyway.